Hi guys and welcome back to part four, this final part of whereby we're going to hopefully now get our inter-VLAN communication up and running. So we left off in part three of this configuring layer three switching and inter-VLAN routing labs. We basically saw that we configured, if you like, the trunking on the layer three switch and the con configured the trunking on this layer two switch. Now we need to see Will we have inter-VLAN communication? So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to make sure that we're in simulation mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to ping between two different VLANs. So I'm going to try to ping between the staff VLAN, VLAN 10, and VLAN 20, the student. Now, what I'm going to see here, guys, is I'm going to see that this ICMP, because it's now going from one network to the other, who does it need to talk to? It needs to talk to our default gateway or our layer three device. So what we're gonna see now, guys, is it's gonna go up here, it's gonna go across, and now it's gonna go up to our layer three device. But we've got a problem, guys. Watch what's gonna happen when I click on the next button. Look what happened. It basically disappeared. So our, unfortunately for us, our communication isn't working via our different inter-VLAN communication. Why not? Well, essentially, what's happening is, as that, if I rewind there one step, what's happening here is this packet or this ICMP is getting up to this layer three switch and it's going, okay, it's coming in from a source IP of 192.10.1, that's PC zero. It's going to a destination IP address of 192.20.1, that's PC one. But basically, this switch goes, what do I do with it? I don't know, I haven't a clue. I, I'm basically, at the moment, you've configured me to a routed port to the cloud, you've set up um, trunking ports, but at this moment in time, I can't do routing. So what it's basically saying is, it can't send a packet in one interface and out another. How can we check this? Well, if we go show IP route here, guys, have a look. We can see there's no routes. It doesn't know any routes at this particular time. It's basically saying it's empty. So how do we configure this? Well, there's one key important, basically, command that we're going to need to do. We're going to need to turn on or enable routing on this layer three switch. How do I do that? I go into configuration mode, and it's a simple command, IP routing. Once I do that, guys, it looks like it hasn't done anything, but it's basically flicked on the power to route packets. So now what I can do, guys, is if I go exit and show IP root, notice the difference. Look at this, guys. I know you're excited here, okay? Look at this. We've got now our codes. So this is like what we see on our interfaces of our router. We can now see a routing table. Look at, we can see the, con the connected networks. So let's read this. On the connected networks, I can see I've got a network that I know about at 192, say 10.0/24. That's connected to my switched virtual interface of VLAN 10. I can see it's directly connected. I can also see it knows about the 20 network. That's for a switched virtual interface 20. And I can see I know about the 30 network. Again, VLAN 30. So again, guys, now what I'm seeing is I can see that it knows about these interfaces. I can also see it knows about the network 209.165.200.0 slash 30. In this case, it's been subnetted down to this particular subnet, starting with .224, and that goes out the gigabit ethernet zero slash two port. So now, if I try to do a ping test, guys, if I delete that one, and let's try that again, I'm gonna go from PC zero to PC one, let's try that again, it's gonna to go to ICMP, all the way up to the default gateway. Last time, remember, it didn't work. This time, guys, it's basically going, it's not gonna work for the first one, but look, you might see, there has been some progress. It's gonna ARP and say, oh, I see you're looking for, basically, 192.168.20.1. I don't currently have an ARP entry for that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send out an ARP broadcast to everyone to basically say, hey, who has that? And what's gonna happen is it's gonna go back out to the ports on VLAN 20 only. This guy's gonna say, that's not me, I wasn't looking for, you weren't shouting out to the network looking for 20.1, but this guy is gonna respond with an ARP response. Up it comes. Now again, at this stage, guys, I've lost that ICMP message. But if I keep pressing go, next, 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 eventually, this guy is gonna send his second ICMP message. So again, let's keep going next, 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 next. 
Let's just see. Let's give it a bit of time, guys. Let's have a bit of patience. I want to keep going next, 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 until hopefully this guy does decide to send another ICMP. Still don't see it, guys. Okay, bear with me. Okay, I'm still not seeing another ICMP. Let's try force the matter. Let's, let's go delete and let's try and ping again. Let's try and force the matter. So let's go from zero to one again. So again, this time, our layer three device should have an ARP entry for PC1. Let's give it a go. Obviously, it's going to a different network. It's gonna to go to the default gateway. Now we should hopefully see a response back. And we do, guys, look at that. Over to PC1. Now what we're gonna see is response back. And what we should see, guys, here is a successful ping message. What have we just proved? We've proved inter-VLAN routing. And we've seen, guys, we've got inter-VLAN routing now with a layer three device, okay? So fantastic. The last thing to, to, to probably check, guys, here is we can go back to real-time mode and do some connectivity tests. So again, we might try can we ping between PC1 and, for example, um, PC5. So again, between students and faculty. Let's give that a try. The first one might fail. I always say give it a couple of goes because, again, we might see what happened to us with the ARC failing. Let's see. We can see now this, the second one is successful. So again, guys, what might be an also a nice test is if we try to ping, for example, from our staff VLAN in here out to our ISP. So if I click into the cloud, it should give me an option to basically ping the ISP. So I'm gonna try and ping the ISP. Again, the first one might fail. Oh, in fact, guys, this one worked, okay? Because there was some connectivity already between when I was doing some connectivity tests earlier on in our first video. So what have we shown, guys? What we've essentially shown is that this layer three switch is now routing between VLANs, these different VLANs, and also it's providing routed connectivity to the cloud. So I hope you've enjoyed these four videos, guys, and you now understand this concept of inter-VLAN routing on a switch, on a layer three switch, and this idea of routed ports. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for viewing and talk to you soon.